Hello, just doing a quick review of my Ibanez ARZ400. Uh, I've done a couple of reviews before, but they haven't turned out very well, so I thought I'd try one more time to make a half ass good review to see how it works. So, it's got a nice headstock, uh, your typical 3 and 3 Les Paul style headstock. Um, has a handy truss rod nut uh, adjustment cover here. You just flick it over and then close it shut so you don't have to even unscrew it to give your adjust rod a little bump in the spring or in the fall when it dries up or it gets the humidity goes up and stretches the guitar. Uh, the strings are round backwards but that came like it. It came with them that way and it's double locking tremolo so from this point on it's all locked so I haven't bothered to change up the strings and when I do I'll rewind, rewind the right way but anyway. Uh, I just keep the strings clean, they're still good, and I really like them so I'm not going to change them out yet. Anyway, there's no inlays in the fretboard or markings of any sort, it's just all uh, ebony and rosewood. Uh, great frets, nice tall frets, so easy to bend. Um, the back of the headstock has uh, typical markings, it's uh, made in China. And the machine heads are good. They have uh, nylon bushings. I think it's nylon. So it's your typical one through machine head holds it firm. And they're all bushinged up, so they should be good for a while. Pretty high quality machine heads for what they're worth, because you don't really need them that much with the locking on that. Just uh, use them once. Every time you put new strings on, that's what we get. So heading down the guitar more, down at the base of the neck, it has the EMGHZ pickups, uh, neck and bridge. The body's contoured body, really nicely done. Uh, it has binding and it's also really nicely done. I'm not sure if it's paint, I think it might just be painted on or actually in there. I can feel a little bit of a change but some are painted on, some are actually inlaid. I think this is painted on, I think somehow. There's a bit of a uh, mark there from when it was put on, so not sure. But anyway, it uh, looks nice, looks, looks a little sharp, kind of outlines it so you can really get the, the lines of the guitar. And of course, your switchings, uh, bridge pickup, both, and uh, neck. There's no splitting coils or just straight up volume tone. I used this uh, cheap tremolo arm, it didn't come with one, it was missing. Uh, so it just kind of screwed in there and it stays firm and stays out of the way until you ever want to use it. And it, of course, has the effective uh, as edge tremolo. And I'll just like back the strings right off. I don't see that or not, but. And pull right back into tune, which is great. Uh, the fine tuners are down here, so you basically just put the strings in uh, at the machine head end, cut them basically to length here, lock them in, and then tighten up the machine heads till they're basically in tune, lock the top nut, nut and then uh, fine tune it through here and they stay in tune for quite a while. And can just, uh, if you ever have to, you can unlock the nut and back these out and then get back in tune to fine tune again. Okay, it has your typical guitar strap buttons, nothing special there. The back's actually really nice. It's super smooth and contoured. Hope that contour shows up nice. And uh, contoured through here, through the single cutaway, and through the neck. It's all one seamless flowing piece. It's really nice to play. Of course, this one was uh, from Music 123, damaged. So I got a big savings on it, but I did have one problem. It's got a cracked neck. I don't know if the crack will show up. I'll just try to... I'm not going to hear it. Uh, maybe not. It's super fine. I didn't even know it until I had it for a couple days, then kind of brushed against it and find a, found a fine crack. But no big deal. That 
You have to take the plate off to adjust the truss or the tremolo springs, but I haven't yet. They're, they seem to be in a happy position. Don't have to adjust them much at all. Uh, they're tight enough to keep it in tune and loose enough to move it freely. All your pots and stuff are under this cover and uh, good access. Actually, I've never had it off. It's just uh, came with good pickups and good pots and especially a, a good uh, uh, jack outlet. Nice and tight, nice and firm, never fall out. So I think that's about it for this guitar. Also it has your fretboard marking, markings on the side. There's 12, 3, 5, 7, 9. So when you're playing you can see it quite well and then it, from the front there's not marked at all so it kind of gives it that cool feel of you know not really kind of playing uh, without going by just the, the inlays but really you can't see them quite well on the side it, it works pretty good I was worried that I wouldn't be able to tell what fret I was on but it, it does work out not too bad so anyway here's my ARZ 400 I hope this video is better than the last I'll do some more close-ups because they are hard to find in the guitar stores. I don't see them very much in like Guitar Center or other shops. So if you are ordering one, it'd be kind of with Ivan's website. They might have like one or two pictures of it, and that'd be about it. But it's excellent guitar. Like compared to uh, Gibsons that I played for free at Guitar Center or my other guitars around the house, this is easily. One of the best, if not the best, one I have. It's very well built, even with the cracked neck and uh, the funky strings on it. It's still really good. When I pick it up, it's like a lot of guitar. Um, so when I go to play a guitar, I kind of don't always grab this one because it's got 24 frets. It's kind of a, a real kind of thinking guitar. So you won't get bored with this one very, very quickly. Uh, you just pick up like an old um, Telecaster or something like that to sit around and play with. But uh, this one, I, if I remember going somewhere or playing something serious, I'll grab this one because I know it'll sound great, uh, play great, play easy, bend easy, and it's really good. So long story short, I'd definitely get another ARZ 400 if I could possibly afford it. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye. Thank you.